Hi, I'm Tom and in this video I will do some more testing of Vera's AI visualization plugin for Revit. So I will show you how to go from this boring Revit viewport to a nice rendered uh, picture like this. And stay tuned till the end because I will also show you how to go from a Minecraft model like this to fully rendered professional visualization like this or this in less than five minutes. If you don't know what Veras is, I recommend watching my previous video, which was kind of introduction to Veras, where I explained the basic concepts of Veras. It will be linked in the description box below. So let's start exploring some interior design options that I didn't do in my last video. So I already prepared my my viewport in Revit according to the guidelines outlined in the last video and you can see that the viewport is not looking like much so let's bump down the creativity strength a little bit so it doesn't go bonkers and let's see how it does with these default settings now after the render is done you can see that it doesn't look like much because I had the is interior setting turned off. So let's turn it on and see how it goes with the setting turned on. And you can see that the output is much better, especially the furniture, the sofa. So is interior makes a difference. But I think the AI gets confused with the table behind the sofa. So let's delete it and also let's delete the carpet under the sofa so it doesn't confuse the AI. And also let's move our point of view, let's move the camera a little bit. Now let's decrease the creativity strength a little bit so it stays more true to the original, original viewport. And after it's rendered, you can immediately see that the result is much better. And this is actually quite nice looking interior rendering with nice sofa. It put the carpet on the floor and the left wall and the front wall is, is covered with, with wood covering. And it also added some, uh, some decoration around the TV on the shelf. And now there's a cut, you can see another design option with the same settings. And you can see that actually it created a leather, leather sofa. Now let's start playing with, uh, with some prompts. Let's add gray marble floor and let's try to add the garden behind the window and let's see what the output would, would be. Style strength, which is the prompt input strength is bumped up to 89. So in the output you can see that it reads the gray marble, marble floor quite nicely and it also placed some marble tiles on the walls, on the left wall and also on the front wall. The garden behind windows didn't work that much. Okay, let's try to fine tune the render. Let's place dark oak wood on the left wall and change the color of the sofa to light gray. And let's see how the AI understands our input. Hmm. So actually I like this output much more than the previous one. The sofa is a little bit less, a little bit less dark, but it's still not light gray, I would say. And also it doesn't understand what left wall means because it puts the dark old wood, wood on the left wall and also on the front wall. So I think this is currently the limitation of what it understands, but the rendering looks quite nice in my opinion. So I wanna still try to play with the colors of the sofa. So let's check light brown sofa. And it understood the prompt quite well. It changed also some other things, but this again looks quite nice as a design option. Now let's try to confuse the AI a little bit more and add something that is not already in, in my view, in my Revit view. So let's try to add modern chandelier in the middle of the ceiling and let's see how it does. So I guess this, this is too much for the current AI. It didn't understand the chandelier and it kind of screwed up the rest of the rest of the rendering. So let's try to delete just the middle of the ceiling and let's try again how it would understand modern chandelier. 
And even though I really like this design option, it uh, didn't really create chandelier at all. So let's get rid of the chandelier completely. Let's change the color of the sofa from brown to light gray. And let's try how it reacts to having uh, a prompt for white walls. And also add gray carpet in the middle of the room. Wow, I actually really like the style of this uh, visualization. It plays the gray carpet, uh, but it didn't create white walls. It just placed white marble around the TV at the front, but nevertheless, an interesting design idea again. Let's bump up the creativity strength to 90 and let's see whether it will really make white walls. So we weren't successful in creating white walls. This last render is not that nice as the previous one. So let's call it a day and let's move to another example. So now I will show you how to create professional architecture visualization out of this Minecraft model. The link to the author of this model will be in the description box below. So uh, let's go to Revit and let's start a new project and I will use architectural template. So this is an empty project and here I will create a new uh, drafting view and let's uh, import this uh, picture up here into this drafting view and let's fire up Evolve Lab Veras and let's see what it can do. Okay, so show Revit preview. It shows correctly. Creativity strength is set up to 95. And now let's render. So we can see that the blocky architecture remained, but it's actually, it's actually created a real render from a Minecraft architecture. Now let's try it with Turbo Nature and let's render. So you can see it went bonkers with, with the nature. Let's uh, decrease the creativity strength so it will be closer to the original Minecraft uh, architecture and see what it does with the nature. So basically it's just uh, just a variation of this. Let's get rid of the turbo nature and return to the original one with the lessened creativity strength. How it will look compared to this one. So with less creativity strength, I don't, th I don't see it that much less creative. But let's uh, know when we see this original one. It has it thinks. These tiles are kind of sand or some rough, rough tiles, and here it made them it made them nicer, like a like a porch. It also used some creativity here and here using the wood, which I think this one, well, compared to the original, it's hard to tell. But let's try to add style strength and uh, p around pool let's try this one whether it will add uh, people hmm interesting again it changed the architecture quite a bit but there are no people around the pool but you can see that it created actually the pool it's much more pronounced than in the previous renders so let's leave the pool and add Mediterranean style. Let's try this one. Let's lessen it a bit. You know, the architecture still is kind of the same. Let's try. Let's try just Zaha Hadid which is an architect that likes to use she liked to use you know some organic shapes so let's see what it will do and bear in mind that the creativity strength is still 
set to quite a low uh, number so we will see maybe then we will try to bump it up hmm, it's still kind of the same it tried to add some some shapes but when the original shape is squared like this it's probably hard to change it a lot but let's bump up the creativity strength and now I suppose it will go bonkers you can see the rounded corners around the pool the pool actually looks quite nice the garden I mean you wouldn't know that this was originally created in Minecraft even the even the lounge chairs look great I think there's a background hmm interesting architecture again I mean yeah this is not the Zahadi type but it's trying to do that let's try different style let's say Japanese style and render so you can see again mainly the background and some of the Japanese style um, architecture architectural details but the the main mass remains the same which i think is a good thing because you want to you want to create variations of your original original mass and if you want different mass you just have to model the mass in 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 revit so again let's try a different style baroque and let's bump up the creativity and style strength so but basically you can see that uh, the backend engine the ai engine of veras is just using the raster output so you can easily use raster image it's not working with the 3d model of revit which is kind of shame because it would it could get quite a lot of information about the about the geometry from the 3d model but I think that's uh, another level of AI currently we are working only with the raster image and the results are quite impressive well this doesn't look like Baroque to me maybe just some maybe some Spanish style Baroque uh, not sure about that but you can see also how your eight-year-old kid can model a house in minecraft and create professionally looking renders from it which in my point of view this is quite impressive and it takes no time to create visualizations like this the biggest gripe i have with veras right now is that uh, the fine granule control is hard to hard to achieve so but i think evolve lab will work on this and uh, and make uh, make the gra final granular control like let's say i want to change just the material of these walls or let's say i want to i like this whole picture this whole rendering but i just want the main building the house have uh, brown walls this is currently quite hard to achieve i'm just starting to know how to work with the user prompt so i guess once we all learn how to speak to the ai it will get easier but currently this fine granular granularity of the output is hard to achieve okay now let's try another minecraft model this is quite highly developed one so let's fire up evolve lab and let's see what it will do let's start with low creativity strength hmm interesting it created some palms up here uh, it's a nice nice landscape it didn't follow though so let's try to decrease the creativity strength let's see it will it will be you know pixelated up here yeah so this almost doesn't change the picture at all let's now bump up the creativity and let's see what it does yeah so we can see it changed the original buildings quite a lot also the the green stuff and 
let's add style strength let's decrease the creativity and let's try to type in new york because this looks with the trees and with the palms it looks quite southern okay so you can see the trees are still here i mean this is more like new york yep but it's kind of messy this this picture it tried to change change a lot let's try what it would do with hong kong how it will look like hmm, not sure if it if it actually knows the if it reacts to the to the locations let's see i mean paris there's just a lot of fans in paris which are skyscrapers like this so we'll see what the architecture would look like when we try paris yeah okay so it definitely knows the location so we've got the eiffel tower and you know well this is quite crazy let's change it from paris to let's say fluent design if it would change from the blocky one to fluent this is really bad <laughs> So we did some fluent shapes, like I like these maybe, but this doesn't look well. And this one, I don't think it's fluent, but yeah, okay. Now let's try something completely different. Brutalist style. Let's see this and let's bump up the style strength. You can see that it always recognizes that these are kind of palm shapes so it remains true to this okay you can see it didn't do anything crazy let's try to bump up creativity strength i don't like to setting it to maximum it's i think also not recommended i think this blue line is a recommendation of the creativity strength from from the various creators oh yes yeah, so this is different but not that much actually the form remains the same even the palms are still here so i'm kind of surprised that it didn't go bonkers and didn't create something completely out of the out of the out of the question even with these strength uh, almost bumped up to maximum if you want to test the AI rendering plugin for Revit yourself, you can easily download the trial version from the Evolve Lab pages and the trial works for 100 renders. So it's enough to get you familiarized with the AI rendering tool. This is all from me for this video and see you in the next one.